Before we know it, week one will be here. With the bulk of all 32 teams' 53-man rosters all set, let's analyze one reason for each team to be optimistic about the 2024 NFL season. And hey, a big shout-out to Colesport961 for suggesting this video. Arizona Cardinals, the Marvin Harrison Jr. Show The last time the Cardinals had a wide receiver as skilled as Marvin Harrison Jr. was Larry Fitzgerald. And I think we all know how Fitz turned out to be. Arizona drafted the second-generation wideout with a number four pick this year, giving Kyler Murray a game-changing weapon to lift this offense for takeoff. Atlanta Falcons, finally, a quarterback. The Falcons haven't had a winning season since 2017, and they finished a mediocre 7-10 in each other three years under Arthur Smith. Well, the arrival of pro bowler Kirk Cousins promises to change everything in Atlanta. He signed a four-year deal worth $180 million in free agency, joining an offense led by Kyle Pitts, B. John Robinson, and Drake London. Baltimore Ravens, Derrick Henry equals the final piece? Lamar Jackson won his second career MVP award and led the Ravens to the AFC title game where they fell to the Kansas City Chiefs. The Ravens have no legitimate weaknesses and are more than capable of winning it all. But it's really the signing of two-time rushing champion Derrick Henry that has us convinced that this team could unseat Kansas City and actually win it all. Buffalo Bills, the Stefan Diggs headache is finally gone. Diggs posted all-world numbers in Buffalo, sure. But his me-first attitude, diva antics, and constant no-showing in the postseason really began to wear on Josh Allen in the locker room. Buffalo finally decided to move on from Diggs, sending him to the Houston Texans for a second-round pick. Only time will tell if the move pans out from an on-field standpoint, but at least Allen won't be forcing any more errant passes just to keep his receiver happy. Carolina Panthers, Bryce Young's weaponry. It is unfair to solely blame Bryce Young on his first-year struggles. Not ideal that 33-year-old Adam Thielen was his only impactful pass catcher. New GM Dan Morgan wasted no time upgrading Young's supporting cast. He traded for ex-Steelers pro bowler Deontay Johnson and drafted wide receiver Xavier Leggett, running back Jonathan Brooks, and tight end Jatavian Sanders. Young should make some significant progress with a whole new set of toys. Chicago Bears, Caleb Williams captaining the offense. If the first overall pick of 2024 comes as advertised, the Bears will have their first franchise QB since Sid Luckman who last played for that organization back in 1950. But oh, it is not just Williams' skill set that has us excited. The three-headed receiving trio of DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and prized rookie Romo Dunze? Yeah, I'm not sure if the Bears are a playoff team quite yet, but that offense will not be boring to watch in Windy City. That is for sure. Cincinnati Bengals? Joe Burrow's back. That's right, the Bengals' Super Bowl hopes were dashed once Burrow suffered a season-ending wrist injury last season, but as we all know, these very Bengals are a bona fide title contender with a healthy Burrow leading the charge. You know darn well what they can do if Joe Cool manages to stay healthy. Cleveland Browns, finally, some QB stability? Okay, so if Deshaun Watson could be like 75% as good as the guy that we saw in Houston, the Browns would be the Chiefs' main competitors in the AFC. No more excuses for Watson now. He has recovered from a season-ending shoulder surgery and is now in his third year of learning the Browns' offensive system. If he can stay healthy, and provide above-average QB play, the Browns will be Super Bowl contenders for the first time since the Bernie Kosar days. Dallas Cowboys, the defense gives hope. Truth be told, we have just given up on the idea of Dak Prescott clutching up and leading the Cowboys on a deep playoff run. If Dallas is to get over the hump, it is going to be because of their defense. Micah Parsons is a top five defensive player in football, and a returning Trayvon Diggs just might form the league's best cornerback duo alongside Deron Bland, who broke out last season with Pro Bowl and first team All-Pro nods. Denver Broncos, Sean Payton has the QB he wants. Consider the Broncos a heavy favorite to pick first overall in 2025. So we are really grasping at straws here. But anywho, it was pretty awkward seeing Sean Payton coach Russell Wilson when he obviously wasn't sold on the nine-time pro bowler as his QB. If there is one reason for Broncos fans to be excited this year, though, how about the fact that Payton actually got the QB he wanted in Oregon's Bo Nix? Denver fans just have to trust that this offensive guru will make it work with Nix. Otherwise, the Avalanche and Nuggets are looking pretty good for next year. 
Huh? Detroit Lions Return of the Kneecap Biters The Lions reached the NFC title game for the first time since 1991 last season, narrowly dropping a heartbreaker to the 49ers. Well, consider it a learning lesson for the Lions. They've got a top head coach in Dan Campbell and superstars on both sides of the ball. They have experienced the rough road that it takes to win a championship, and now they are ready to make good on the next opportunity that awaits them. Green Bay Packers, love is all you need. Jordan Love's first season as the Packers starting QB went way better than expected. He threw for 4,159 yards and 32 touchdowns, leading Green Bay to a surprise playoff appearance and blowout win over Dallas in the wildcard round. Love only stands to improve after a special coming out party last year, especially with Josh Jacobs arriving and top wideout Christian Watson returning after an injury-riddled 2023 campaign. Houston Texans, CJ Stroud, enough said. Stroud had one of the greatest rookie QB seasons of all time and led Houston to an AFC South Division crown plus a wildcard round win over the Browns. And yet, the number two pick of 2023 is only going to get better, especially with veteran stars Joe Mixon and Stephon Diggs joining his offense. Indianapolis Colts, a healthy Anthony Richardson. If the Colts could win nine games with Gardner Minshew as their main QB last year, then just imagine how much better the offense will be if second-year QB Anthony Richardson can stay healthy. Richardson showed flashes of stardom in the four games that he suited up for in his injury-ravaged rookie year. If he can play all 17 games this year, the Colts will be a dark horse contender in the AFC South. Jacksonville Jaguars, T-Law's offense. After an inconsistent 2023 season, Trevor Lawrence is poised to rebound with a revamped supporting cast. Newcomers Gabe Davis and Brian Thomas joined an arsenal led by Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, and Travis Etienne Jr. That is five players who can all put up over 1,000 yards of offense. This ought to be the year where Lawrence finally plays like an MVP quarterback, right? Kansas City Chiefs, Patrick Mahomes' rebuilt receiving core. The Chiefs won the Super Bowl last year despite never resolved issues at wide receiver. Travis Kelsey can only do so much, so Brett Veach was sure to not lean on his all-world tight end too much. The Chiefs signed former 1,000-yard wideout Marquise Brown and used a first-round pick on Texas Speedster Zay Xavier Worthy. Throw in Rashi Rice's presence, and this might actually be Mahomes' best pass-catching unit yet. Las Vegas Raiders, Antonio Pierce is greater than Josh McDaniels. Yeah, Josh McDaniels inherited a 10-win playoff team and turned the Raiders into borderline unwatchable football. Well, good news! That is not a problem anymore. Antonio Pierce led Vegas to a 5-4 finish after replacing McDaniels and received the permanent head coaching gig. His defensive genius, passion, and player-friendly approach could help these Raiders slug out tight wins and make a surprise return to the playoffs. But we'll see. Los Angeles Chargers, Jim Harbaugh. Like we really had any other reason to list here. The Bolts finally have competent coaching again, and his name is Jim Harbaugh. The ex-49ers coach won a national championship at Michigan last year before signing up for the Chargers job. His culture building and superb in-game strategizing will quickly be adopted in La La Land, putting the Bolts back on the path to title contention. Los Angeles Rams, Cooper and Puka. The Rams' high-powered offense got them back into the postseason with a 10-7 and record. That was largely thanks to star wideout Puka Nakua and his record-setting rookie season. And to think that fellow superstar Cooper Cup missed five games last year. If he's healthy, might Cup and Nakua form the league's best receiving tandem? Well, don't fully bet against it. Miami Dolphins, more offensive fireworks. Seriously, what more is there to say? Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle are the best receiving duo in football. But he most certain Devon A. Chan may be the league's top running back tandem too. To attack a Bailoa's massive immense wealth of weapons means that Miami will be lighting up the scoreboard like a gosh darn Christmas tree. Minnesota Vikings, new faces at QB. So, as good as Kirk Cousins' regular season stats were, it was obvious that he lacked the it factor to get his team over the top. So, rather than accepting the mushy middle, the Vikings let him walk to free agency and signed Sam Darnold as a bridge QB before drafting their man in Michigan's J.J. McCarthy. If Darnold can't put it together, the Vikings can give the McCarthy-Justin Jefferson partnership a head start. A much-needed and overdue change at quarterback should really excite Vikings fans this year. New England Patriots, a reboot of the Patriot way. Bill Belichick may be the greatest football coach to ever live, but his military-style approach and refusal to modernize his roster building clearly were on the Pats in the post-Tom Brady era. Well, no more. They have a savvy young leader in the front office, Elliot Wolf, a player-friendly head coach, and Jared Mayo, and a super-talented young rookie QB in Drake May. A new era of Patriots football that is with the modern times is gonna be a nice sense of relief for New England fans. New Orleans Saints, 
a change at OC. If you saw Derek Carr's constant freakouts last year, you would be shocked that New Orleans had the ninth best offense. And yet, that wasn't enough for the 9-8 Saints to actually win the hapless NFC South. Carr just never clicked in Pete Carmichael's stale offense. But new OC Clint Kubiak brings a breath of fresh air for Carr, Chris Olave, and Alvin Kamara. His more modernized offense, complete with pre-snap motions and heavy play-action calls, might actually help the Saints offense hit its full potential in 2024. New York Jets Aaron Rodgers returns. With an elite defense and a deep set of weapons, all the Jets really need is competent QB play to compete in 2024. And after missing all but a few snaps last year, Aaron Rodgers returns at full health with a chip on his shoulder. So a healthy Rodgers immediately puts the Jets in title contention. New York Giants, the fearsome trio. If the Giants are going to have a shot in 2024, it's going to have to come on the defensive side of the ball. So how about prized trade acquisition Brian Burns joining a pass rush led by rising star Kevon Thibodeau and veteran mainstay Dexter Lawrence. Oh yeah, Brian Dable is gonna love this group. Philadelphia Eagles, the rebuilt and repaired defense. The Eagles' leaky defense was a key reason behind their stunning second half collapse last year. Well, that won't be a problem anymore with the great Vic Fangio taking over as the new defensive coordinator. Looking to bolster their secondary, GM Howie Roseman signed CJ Garner Johnson before drafting two elite quarterback prospects in Quinion Mitchell and Cooper DeGee. Throw in that feisty Jalen Carter led front seven, and the Eagles' D should regain its championship form and take plenty of pressure off the offense. Pittsburgh Steelers, a relevant QB room. The Steelers somehow won 10 games and reached the postseason a year ago with the QB trio of Kenny Pickett, Mitch Trubisky, and Mason Rudolph. Even if he's past his prime, Russell Wilson is still a mega upgrade over all three of those guys. And if Wilson is washed, well, the Steelers can turn to Justin Fields, who could flourish with a competent head coach and a nice set of weapons. San Francisco 49ers, another roll of the dice. The 49ers have played in three straight NFC Championship games and were oh so close to winning the Super Bowl last season. They have the best roster in football and are loaded with star power across the board. Eventually, the breaks have to go their way in the postseason. Another year means another roll of the dice. So let's see if they finally land on the Super Bowl square this time. Seattle Seahawks, defense is ready to rock and roll. Pete Carroll may be destined for the Hall of Fame, but he really struggled to get the most out of an ultra-talented Seattle defense over his final six years as head coach. The Hawks parted ways with Carroll and hired Baltimore Ravens DC Mike McDonald as their new head coach. McDonald should fully maximize the potential of a young defense led by young stars Devin Witherspoon, Rick Woolen, Boye Mafe, rookie Byron Murphy II, and veterans Jaron Reed, Leonard Williams, and Draymond Jones. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Baker Mayfield's encore. The Bucks' two most notable offseason moves were the extensions for Mayfield and wide receiver Mike Evans. Now, we see what Mayfield can do for an encore after signing a $100 million extension. The number one pick of 2018 had a career year in 2023 and led the Bucks to a division crown and wildcard round win over the Eagles. So, how does Mayfield follow it up? Tennessee Titans, Will Levis' three-headed WR monster. Looking to bolster the supporting cast around Will Levis, the Titans signed veteran star Calvin Ridley and two-time 1,000-yard receiver Tyler Boyd in free agency. Those two will join forces with pro bowler DeAndre Hopkins, who formed a nice rapport with Levis a year ago. With three big-time playmakers at his disposal, Levis is in a very good spot to break out this year. Washington Commanders, Jaden Daniels. The C's drafted Heisman Trophy winner and dual-threat QB Jaden Daniels with the number two pick. Now, this isn't to say that the Commanders will immediately emerge as contenders, but Daniels' explosiveness and elite athleticism shall give Washington fans a glimpse of an ultra-bright future future in DC. But hey, why else are you optimistic about your favorite NFL team heading into 2024? Let us know in the comments section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. But hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, well, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.